Hello Internet! Today I'm going to show you how to upload custom images to the picture frame in Subnautica. The first thing you're going to want to do is to locate your saved games folder. The path is a little bit different depending on which OS and which gaming client you're using. Let's start with Steam on Windows since it's probably the most popular. Step 1 is to find where you installed the Steam folder. For example, mine is in C Program Files. Then go to Steam Apps, Common, Subnautica, SN App Data, and Saved Games. If you're using the Epic Games Launcher or the Xbox app for Windows, go to your user profile. For example, mine is C Users Simon. Then App Data, Local Low, Unknown Worlds, Subnautica, Saved Games. For Steam on Mac, the path is Library, Application Support, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Subnautica, SN App Data, and Saved Games. Finally, for Epic Games on Mac, the path is Library, Application Support, Unity.UnknownWorlds.Subnautica, Subnautica, Saved Games. If you want to copy paste, I have put all the paths in the video description. Now inside the Save Games folder, you'll see one or more folders named slot 0000, slot 0001, slot 0002, etc, etc. These represent each one of your saves. Go in the one you wish to use and then in the screenshots folder. If there's no screenshots folder, you can create one, but make sure you spell screenshots, that's screenshots plural with an S, correctly. Otherwise, you can take a screenshot in-game by using F11 and the screenshots folder will be created automatically. Once you're there, you can put whatever image you want as long as it's in JPEG format. Now load your game, go to the photo manager tab in your PDA. You should see your custom image appear alongside any screenshots you have taken in-game. To display it, go to your picture frame, select your custom image, upload, and voila! The picture frame has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9, so you might want to keep that in mind when choosing what images to upload. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe for more guides just like this one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.